So we're gonna have a look at how well Descript copes with green screen. And uh, I'm just gonna create a new video project. We'll call it green screen. Uh, we are going to record it straight into here. So we just want the camera. And uh, so it's got the camera, it's got the, oh, why is it choosing that microphone? Let's change that, not that it really matters. And we're gonna record into the script. I've got my little countdown down there and we're going. So to start with, I wanna just see how well green screen works with a green screen. Notice that it doesn't go to the edges. Uh, I'm happy that we're gonna be able to fix that. And then let's pull this down. This might be quite challenging because there's not a lot of difference between my black t-shirt and that navy wall behind. But I wanna see how well it copes when we haven't actually got a green screen. Do we need one? So let's stop this recording and we'll bring these in. So here we are again, as you've heard me say in the beauty of recording in Descript is that we've got these files straight in. I don't overly need to worry about, uh, what I might do is just, I need to just cut it down. I So um, I'm gonna put a new scene in there. And then I'm not actually worried about the tech. We're not even gonna to listen to it really. It's purely a visual thing. So that's with green screen up. Let me just uh, get rid of that bit. So we've got two different scenes there. One's got green screen and one hasn't. So yeah, don't worry about the text. As I say, it doesn't matter. I just wanna get a uh, very clear and clean video from green screen and then without it. All right, so scene one, we can just click on here. Now there's two options with green screen. I'm just kind of playing with it really. We can, in the effects here, we can select green screen. And as you can see, it's applying this for me. Now I think because we're adjusting the video, it's going to do it to everything or rather than just that scene. Let's have a look. No, it isn't actually, because it says here, apply to all scenes, good. So it's only gonna do the first one, right? So there it goes, it's cut out the background. And we're going, so this is not done a great job, has it? I've still got green behind me there that I wouldn't expect to see. Let's try, I'm gonna say apply to all scenes actually, because we wanna try to apply it to this scene now. Oh, and it's carried it on. Between my black t-shirt and that navy wall behind. But if we wanna see how well it copes. Now that's actually done a pretty good job, hasn't it? If anything, I prefer it without the green screen. The green screen has a green halo around it. When I turn the green screen off, Now, as I move, you see there, it's a bit like uh, on Zoom when they do the kind of remove background. Uh, it's not perfect, but what does this look like then if we were to change the background and go for a completely different color? Because it's the black was being quite forgiving. This is gonna be a lot fussier. Just see how well. um, okay, we only applied that to that first scene. Let's change the background up here as well. With a green screen, note that it doesn't go to the edges. Uh, I'm happy that we're going to be able to fix that between my black t shirt and that navy wall. It's a softer edge on it in this second one, I would say. Look around my hair. Do we need one? But with a green screen. So, um, what do we think? I think if we were putting a video in the background of here. No, I'm not sure I'm clicked on video backgrounds. That's probably not the right thing to do. And let's just say on here, so uh, layer order, we want to send this backwards. So, so let's stop this recording. And we'll... So it's not great. I might just try and add in again an actual video. Let's type office. Let's pretend we're sitting in an office, shall we? Uh, actually, I could have just got an image really, couldn't I? Photos. Office background. Let's go with the first one. So we need to just size this. Uh, it's a slightly wrong 
And again, we're just going to say layer order, send backwards. And now here I am sitting in front of it. So I can adjust this as well. You know, does it feel if, if, if I were happy with this, you know, this is the sort of thing I'd be doing. Does that feel like I'm sitting actually there? Let's just run that. So, I mean, it's done a very good job. When we look again at this video, or you're looking at me here, you can see there's not a lot of contrast between that. So I, I'm, I'm not going to be too harsh on it. I think it's done a good job. Now, let's just have a look, because there is an alternative. So if I turn off green screen, there is a chroma key setting. And um, it's already put it on. But it gives me some options. And I'm just curious how whether this will help I'm looking around my hair, smoothness is just taking that edge again, spill, okay, that seems to be, it's, it, it's getting rid of that gr the green on the edges, but it's turning me grey, greyer. So I could choose the colour if I wanted. So do I think that's much better? Green screen works with a green screen. Note that you go for the edges. Um... Yeah, I'm a little disappointed with that. I thought it might have done a better job. This is like in Ecamm having this fade level. So if I'd have um, slipped a background in behind this one, there it is. And again, we're just going to push that back, send backwards. So this is now with the chroma key applied. So when I click chroma key, I can ad adjust this a little bit. It's bizarre, isn't it? It's like a saturation. Now it's not bad in fairness. Probably what I should do in this, see how it's picked up these edges here. So if I pick this up, um, I want to crop these edges in. So if I trim in from the edge there, and on that one, we're now just seeing the uh, image coming through behind. Okay, so does that make sense? So when I've taken that, let's um, let's lose the layer behind it. So if I change source, office interior, let's just um, turn that off a minute. We seem to have that applied. So I'll take that one as well. And we're also gonna hide that one. So we should only have a background now and our actual video. even though that's gone. There I am. What I was trying to do was just to turn that off and let you see what I'd done by trimming that edge. Between my black t-shirt and that navy wool behind. But Didn't like that. Oh, that's maybe why I was working on the wrong one. This was the one that I just trimmed. Sorry about that. Uh, just want to change the order then. Change the source. If I just go to this office interior, I just want to turn that off for a second so that you can see me here. And you can see that that's trimmed in on those edges. There we go. That's the long way around. That's what I was trying to show you is that what I've done is I've trimmed these edges out, knowing that anything that isn't green uh, is going to get left behind. The background is disappearing. We've put an office image in behind, so it allows me to trim in on that. I don't want to come too tight in because um, I don't want to end up with my hands coming out of the shop. But uh, if I've got to get to the edge of that green screen, else I'm going to see it's going to get left behind in there. So when I apply that chroma key back in again, it doesn't matter that the image has been knocked down a bit. Does that make sense? I have to say, I don't think this has handled the green screen as well as Ecamm does, strangely. And actually, when I look between the two on here, 
Um, with a bit of tweaking in here, you know, by going into the chroma key version rather than the green screen version, it did do much better actually. That was with the green screen version. Definitely don't like that with that green halo around me. So, okay, my conclusion here really, I think, if this is a video you've already done and you didn't have a green screen, yeah, by all means, click that on and um, you can just you know have a go at cutting this out. I would try and stay fairly still if possible. If uh, It'll do a better job if there's more contrast between me and the background. If you're coming at this deliberately wanting to use green screen, then as you're seeing here, don't use green screen, but uh, under the effects, select um, chroma key instead, which we've done down here. And it just gives you a few more controls and it definitely seems to do a better job of cutting the green out of my hair. And having a, a better background behind it will also make a difference. If this can be, that looks like that's picked up some green. Yeah, it has, look. Um, you know, having a, a busier backdrop behind you will make it less forgiving as well. I think what I was doing there was chaining, changing one scene when I thought I was changing the other, one layer rather. Right, because he's sitting there. Now I'm struggling like that. If I can come out of here and just click in this area, you can see that script is there. Office interior has just got, it is been hidden so clicking in this area but not actually on the image allows me to look at these different layers but that's what I was just trying to say sorry about that rather than having like a plain white background or something behind you if you can have something busier it looks a little bit more forgiving got something going on in the background all right so that's green screen um yeah mixed feelings really